Welcome to a ViewSonic how-to. My name is Ray, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you use one of our portable touch monitors, specifically the TD1655 uh, with a late model Mac product. Uh, the significance of this is that we now have a driver specific to Mac OS that will allow you to do full touch capabilities on your laptop. So let me show you how that works. First thing we're gonna need is we're going to need the portable monitor itself. We're gonna need a Type-C cable, uh, this being the one that comes with the TD1655. And of course we need a uh, late model Mac uh, book in this case, but you can use any Mac that's got a USB Type-C on it to get this connectivity and this setup to work. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to connect the laptop and the monitor together and that's very easy it is literally one usb-c cable plug it into the portable and then plug the other end into any type c port on your mac laptop okay once those two are connected, the portable monitor will automatically kick on and your Mac should automatically start to project an image to it. Um, usually it's gonna extend your desktop, but in this case, we're gonna duplicate it so you can see what I'm doing. First thing we need to do to get the uh, touch aspect of this working, you can see if I touch on the screen, no reaction, because natively it's not supported in Mac OS, but we do have a driver to allow it. First thing we wanna do is we wanna go to Safari. We're gonna go to the ViewSonic website. We're gonna click on the support tab at the top, scroll our way down to the downloads, the red button here that says downloads. We're going to select monitors in the first dropdown. This is a TD for touch display. And then the model of this is again, TD1655. There will be a pop-up that it opens. Make sure to open that and it will scroll down to the drivers and software section. And what you want is the VTouch software for Mac OS. Give that a minute to download. Once it downloaded and uncompressed, you wanna go ahead and tell it to install the .package file. And this is the installer that will guide you through the installation process. It's just a few clicks. Tell it to install. After a few minutes, the driver should complete installation and you'll actually see a small icon on the top toolbar of your Mac. Uh, that's actually a couple fingers doing a touch gesture to tell you that now you actually have touch enabled. You can go ahead and close and delete that driver. And you can see now, if I move over to the touch display, I can select and move around things using just the touch. So we've now added full touch support, multi-touch capacitive capability uh, to this Mac laptop using just our portable TD1655 monitor and the new Mac OS driver that enables our V-Touch software. So hopefully this has been a helpful how-to for you. Please watch this space for more how-to and instructional videos.